Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice radio. So today, we need to take a little bit of a look at the secret rares from Lost Origin. You see, although we've not actually seen the secret rares from Lost Origin, you didn't see the quotation fingers, but they were there. What we have done is we've now seen all of the secret rares from both Lost Abyss and from Dark Phantasma, which, of course, basically is the same thing with a little bit of a twist. So what we can do is we can look at past sets like Astral Radiance and we can look at the Japanese sets that make up Lost Origin. And by kind of mashing this all together, we can make a very strong prediction as to exactly what the Secret Rare lineup is going to look like in Lost Origin. Obviously, I cannot tell you with 100% certainty that this is definitely absolutely 100% correct. But I feel very, very good about it. Now, Astral Radiance, as an example, they did a weird thing. They took out the full arts of Dialga and Palkia V. They left all the others in those lovely special arts, the alternate arts, call them what you will. They are very much still in. But they took out the full arts. Why? I'm assuming a promo product down the line. And that means that maybe there's a chance that the Giratina full art gets taken out of Lost Origin because that would make a nice trio to go into a promo product. I don't know, but I'm saying that's the kind of thing that they could do, so we need to just be aware in case they do. With all of that borne in mind, let's go and take a gander. Now, the one thing we do know is that there is going to be a 30-card trainer gallery subset and we know some of the cards that are going to be in there. So, for instance, the Anamorous and Gallade character super rares from Dark Phantasma, we can say with a fair degree of certainty they are going to be in there. Because, of course, that's what happened to the Starmie and Garchomp that were in Battle Region, which was the equivalent of Dark Phantasma for Astral Radiance. So because they were character super rares in a mini set in Japan, they ended up coming over to our set, but coming over in the trainer gallery subset. So they will be in the set, but they will be in the trainer gallery. Similarly, we can expect with a fairly high degree of certainty that the character rares from Dark Phantasma will also be coming in Lost Origin, but they will be in the trainer gallery subset, like the Pikachu for instance. But then we need to be just a little bit careful here. Because, of course, Battle Region, we lost some. There were some that were taken out that was a little bit weird. So Roserade, as an example, and Chandelier were two character rares that came around in Battle Region over in Japan that should have been in Astral Radiance, but actually were cut out. So, there are six character rares that came around in Dark Phantasma. We would expect them to end up being in this set, but they could cut some out like they did for Astral Radiance. The six of them is wandering are Pikachu, Parasect, Gengar, Snorlax, Hisuian Arcanine, and Spiritomb. Expect them to be in the set, but remember they cut Chandelure and Roserade out of Astral Radiance, so they could cut these out of Lost Origin. As for everything out in the Trainer Gallery subset, it's going to be a bunch of cards left over from VMAX Climax. And, but it's simply, we don't know which ones are coming, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. There we go. So in terms of actual secret rares, what we can do is we can put them into categories. And we might as well start off with Pokemon that are going to be getting both a full art and an alternate art. Because they are the most fun. For anyone that's wondering, my projection here is that there are going to be 77 secret rares. That is to say, 47 proper secret rares. That is full art and above using the Japanese definition, which I still think is the better one. And then 30 cards in the trainer gallery subset. So there are basically four Pokemon that are going to be getting alternate arts. Remember, alternate arts only come in main sets, not mini sets. There were no alternate arts in Dark Phantasma. So we only get four of them. Character super rares are slightly different. So Rotom V comes through with both a full art and an alternate art. And there are a bunch of hidden item cards, Pokemon TCG item cards here that you can try and spot. 
Aerodactyl V comes with both a full art and an alternate art. And again, you can transport all the Pokemon underneath it. Galarian Berserker V is coming through with both a full art and a special art. Look how happy it looks. And then Giratina V comes through with a full art and a special art. And you've got the candor artwork here that I know some people are going absolutely crazy for. Although, like I've said, Diagram and Palkia did get the full arts cut from Astral Radiance. That could happen again here. We should then be getting 10 full art Pokemon that do not have alternate arts. Although, like I've said, a couple of them have character super rares that will be in the trainer gallery subset. So, from Dark Phantasma, we've got Magnazone V, Hasuian Electrode V, Anamorous V, Gallade V, Hasuian Gudra V, and Hasuian Zoroark V. And then from Lost Abyss, we should have Delphox V, Kyurem V, Drapion V, and Pidgeot V. So, essentially, what we've got there are 18 Pokemon V, 14 Full Art, and 4 Alternate Art. Moving over into the V Max and V Star, there are seven of these that are going to be getting rainbow rare versions. So we should be getting rainbow rares from Dark Phantasma of Magnazone V Star, Hasuian Gudra V Star, and Hasuian Zoroark V Star. Remember, for some reason, V Maxes don't come in mini sets at the moment, only in main sets. Speaking of main sets, from Lost Abyss, we should be getting rainbow rares of Kyurem V Max, Aerodactyl V Star. Drapion V-Star, and Giratina V-Star. Lovely. Now, that brings us to 7, so added to the 18 Pokemon V, brings us up to 25 in total. We then should have 16 supporters. Now, there are 8 supporters, all of which should be coming as both a Full Art and a Rainbow Rare. So, from Dark Phantasm, we should have Full Arts and Rainbow Rares of Volo. Of Iskan, I pulled the full art of this in Japanese, I'm not delighted about it. Arazu, and the Misfortune Sisters. And then from Lost Abyss, we should be getting both the full art and Rainbow Rare of Colrus' Experiment. A very good card, and I love the artwork. Lady, which is going to be one that people go absolutely crazy for. Fawnton, not Fawnton. Um, I've already seen a bunch of people getting that one wrong. I'll be honest with you, I got it wrong in one of my videos. Luckily, I edited it out before I rendered it. But that's always one, one way to tell how much people are paying attention to the names of the characters. Have they put Fawnton or Fawnton? And then we've got Fantina as well. And that should make 16. And then we've got six gold cards. So in theory here, we should be up to 41 when we add the 16 supporters, and then the gold will bring us up to 47. So from Dark Phantasma, we should have gold versions of Hasuian Zoroark V-Star, Box of Disaster, and Dark Patch. Remember, you generally do get one older card as a gold card from a couple of sets ago. Here it is, Dark Patch. Expect it to be very popular because Dark Patch is an amazing card that never got a gold one before. And then finally, from Lost Abyss, we should be getting gold versions of Giratina V-Star, Collapse Stadium, and I adore that we got a gold Kato Stadium that I was not expecting, and Lost Sweeper, which is not the item card I would have thought it would be, but hey-ho. Again, some of these could end up being cut, but right now we should have 18 Pokemon V, 14 Full Art and 4 Alternate Art, 7 Rainbow Rare V Max and V-Star, 16 supporters, 8 full art, 8 rainbow rare, and 6 gold cards, comprising 4 trainer cards and 2 Pokemon. And then, of course, you add in the 30 card trainer gallery subset, and we end up with 77 secret rares. You can argue about the definition of secret rare. Remember, the definition is slightly different in Japan and over here. In Japan, anything full art and above counts as a secret rare. Here, we've got a weirder definition where full arts are not technically secret rares, but rainbow rares are. And alternate art Pokemon aren't, but when we used to have them, we don't anymore. Alternate art VMAXs were. And then, do trainer gallery count as secret rares or not? So look, you can quibble about the argument, but basically, anything full art or above, the cards you really want to pull, there's 77 of them in Lost Origin. At least, that's what should happen. Remember, they cut both Roserade and Chandelure. 
from Astral Radiance. Although, to be fair, they were cut from the trainer gallery, which just meant they got replaced by other cars, which didn't affect the number. But they did cut a couple of full arts from Astral Radiance as well. And it is possible they could do that again. I'm not guaranteeing this is definitely correct, but I am saying this looks extremely likely. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know which of these you like the most. I want to know any predictions you've got. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider coming to hang out over at patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. We've got a Discord where we talk Pokemon, a pretty much weekly bonus podcast where I answer all your questions about Pokemon and the Pokemon TCG. And it's just a cool group of people and we chat Pokemon and have fun. It's kind of nice, like the lovely Kanto Royal T, who has been one of our subscribers for a little while now over on Patreon. And of course, from now on in the videos, we are going to be shouting out Patreon subscribers for being awesome people, like the lovely Kanto Royal T, who is a lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.